What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, very special guest, the one and only Tara Wack. <laughs> Pete, thank you for joining us today. Of course, my uncle. Oh, you know I got to show love, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So I see you in the studio. I don't want to take up too much of your studio time. So I know, no, know, it's, it costs it's all per good. hour. It's all um, like, we, we is on the clock, though. We, we are on the <laughs> clock. <laughs> cool. So today we're going to talk about, you know, the importance of music and art programs, especially in, like, schools and curriculum. So first mm-hmm. question I have for you is, you know, talk about the importance of these programs in your life, especially, you know, going to Benjamin Rush, which is, like, another arts program. Yes. Yeah, so get into the star you are today. Yes. Um. Honestly, I don't know where I would be without, like, if I didn't go to my, my art school, because like, honestly, like I had something in me, like I knew I had, like, I liked music and I liked to, you know, just the arts and everything, like when I was younger, but like to be able to go to like school for that particular thing, like that was the mm-hmm. focus, like that was my major, you know, I was in vocal, like choir class, like, and it was just like, it made me like, it kept the pressure on, you know, like it just reassured me like every day I'm getting up and I'm going to school. And, and of course, um, academics are important, but like, just to be able to like take one hour of my day every day during the week, like to actually commit to, you know, my dream, my goal, my career, singing, you know, uh, entertaining, performing, like that was like the smartest, one of my smartest decisions like early on. So um, I remember being in middle school and, you know, like the teacher saying like, you know, seventh grade, like it gets crazy. You got to like figure out what high school you want to go to. And like, Mm -hmm. I was like, I got anxiety. I was like, yo, like, I don't, I don't know what I want. I knew what I, what I liked, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to, I, th- I think every kid goes through this, goes through this, like, do I want to go to school with my friends and like continue on, like, you know, our journey, like my middle school friends to high school friends, yeah. or do I want to actually like buckle down and, you know, choose a school that makes sense for me, you know? So I, I think every kid goes through that, but, you know, eventually I buckled down my mom. She was like, yo, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make it work. You know, you gotta do what, what you think is, is, is best for you. And um, so me applying to uh, a few art schools was like, the best thing for me and then like of course I split from a lot of my friends but like I said it, I think that was the, the best decision I made yeah for sure even for me like um audition for art schools my mom was like you're definitely not going to that zone school so you better yeah. she bought you, you, went to Michael's you, got me all the art equipment but, right and, and I was going to say too you know that I think another thing that kind of like scared me was just that like okay, what if I, like, the schools that you had to audition, like, because I could have went to the neighborhood high school, you know, which is fine, too, but, like, the schools that I had to audition for, I was, like, uh, what if they don't accept me, you know, like, that's, like, a scary thing, you know, like, I'm just not a, like, I'm a competitive person, you know, like, but I just, like, I don't know, I, how do I, how do I explain that? I'm not saying I just, for me, I even like, I feel like I would take it personal, like, damn, they ain't like, fuck with yes, me yes, like that. like, that's what I'm saying. So it kind of like, it would mess with my self-esteem, you know, and I was so young, like, I'm like, man, if like, I'm, I'm, you know, I got the grades, I always had the good grades and everything, but I'm like, like, what if they don't accept me? And then I just gotta like, it's going to feel like I shot, you know, far and then I, I missed the target, you know? So mm-hmm. it's like, I was really scared about that, but luckily Arts Academy, they, they accepted me. So like, I was good. I was good. Yeah, you can even see it in your music, especially with like your, your last album and like how you created a whole video around it, even just yeah. your visuals in itself. So, you know, right. going into that school, you got the music part of it, but also the art side. And even yo, then- yo it, it was crazy because like um, in middle school, like I'm not going to lie, like I was in the hood, like, you know, so mm-hmm. like I was traveling like 45 minutes out to go to this high school, like completely different like people like um just uh setting like just everything was just like just different so for me to be actually committing you know my time getting up extra you know extra early in the morning when it was still dark outside in the morning like it looked like nighttime and I'm like getting to this school 45 minutes away and um just meeting so many different but these people are like different like me you Mm -hmm. know like everybody was just so expressive and just just, just, just on the, just on their game. Like, you know, like, and that pushed me to be like, okay, everybody here that's going here has a focus, you know? Mm-hmm. So we all had our majors, like it just, it just made it, a, it became a cool thing. It became a cool thing. Yeah. And even just seeing yeah. other people's artwork and just like, you think you're nice and then you see somebody else and you're just like, shit, I got to step my shit up. Like, exactly. Mm-hmm. No, that's what I'm saying. So it inspires and motivates me. I'm like, oh, okay. Like it's crazy because like, um, I used to like sometimes get like a little, like, pressure coming from you know choir like remembering like just lines and lyrics and notes or whatever and um because we were singing we were doing like all like 
different genres of music. It wasn't just like we were singing in uh, Spanish. We, we were we were getting busy. We would get busy. Mm -hmm. But no, um, me saying that was to say like I had like some theater major friends and I used to hear them like they used to be walking in the halls, like running into stuff, trying to memorize their lines for scripts. And I'm like, damn, I thought I had it bad. You know, it's like that's more pressure, you know, and I but it's like I admired them, like because just when I thought that I had it hard and not to say, you know, it's not good to compare, but sometimes it's just kind of like an eye opener, like, damn, we're mm -hmm. all doing our thing. Like, you know, we're all going to like, um, you know, just come into like hard times, you know? Yeah. Everything's not going to be easy. So then talk about, you know, with so much data supporting why there should be arts and music programs in school from like better grades, better social listen, skills, listen, memory. Listen, it, listen, it, it, to be honest for me and the way I grew up, my, my answer like I, for that would be just like, it just kept me out of trouble and it kept me focused. And I feel like in today's like world and like the way everything is like, a lot of kids want to be rappers and artists, artists and, and basketball players. Like, you know, like, you know, like that's the dream from like, that's the American dream from where I'm from, how I was right. raised and doctors, lawyers, all that too. But like the arts, we need the arts. We do like, we need like everything I'm looking at right now in the studio is like technically a form of art, you know, like mm -hmm. creation, you know? So I just think like, you know, for like the younger generation, like the youth, we need to like keep these programs and like, we got to keep them. It just, it just makes sense. I feel like taking it away. It just like, it sucks the life out of, out of the world, <laughs> yeah. you know? So I just, I think we just gotta, we gotta continue to build more programs. I'm actually trying to work on something like that with my team right now, like actually building some, um, some just like art recre recreational centers for the city mm -hmm. in Philly. Um, just like a place for kids to come like after school, to just like, you know, vibe out, create, yeah. um, and just, just stay out of trouble, you know, stay out the way, you know? Especially like those are my favorite classes to go to in the school. So why yeah. do you think those are always the first ones to go when it comes to like budget cuts and things like that? Well, you're saying you're saying uh, like uh, your favorite is what like art class you're saying? Yeah. But why do you think when there's budget cuts, the art programs and the music programs are always the first ones? To go? Because people don't people like people don't take it serious. Like, you know, like the corporate, the, the men in the suits, you know, like they don't mm -hmm. like. It's, it's funny because too, like even me, like um, just collabing with certain people and I got to go talk to the big wigs and stuff like they're just more business. Like, you know, that's why like, OK, that's why I have managers. OK, like because like I am the artist. I want to focus on the art. Like I shouldn't have to be stressed out about like all this paperwork stuff. I just create the content. My managers, we come together and then we figure out how to you know package it up and then we give it to the world. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's, it's just like the balance. Like I feel like business people don't respect the art <laughs> but the art we we respect the business but it's like hey like you got to let us do our part so that you can have a business you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like like i said we can i can point at anything i can walk outside and it's all art you know like we need art in the world yeah so what are some ways people could support like you know their local artists and you know musicians or even like programs to make sure kids are you know even even if it gets cut they're still like a program here that they could go to or a program here that they could go to at the school because you know extracurriculars are very important especially as you know a child grows and becomes into their own um ask me that question again what are some ways we could people could support local you know art communities and things of that nature honestly man it's just about like i think the world people are just so uptight you know so I think we just all got to just loosen up and just, just show the love like there's so like I never hesitate even with my little blue check on Twitter Instagram whatever like if I see something nice like and it looks cool like I'm like yo like I'm showing love I'm commenting like reposting you know like we just got to keep that love going you know because if people see this this this, this one thing you know it, it keeps happening like okay this this keeps this is popping this has a lot of like we gotta like we are in charge of who you know, we, we are in charge of our next leaders, you know, like we kind of right. control like everything, everything that's popular. Like we are the cause of it. You get what I'm saying? We, the people. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like we just got to keep pushing each other and just and supporting each other just to like, you know, just keep things going. Like, I don't think there should really, like, there's times where like, I'll run into somebody and they're like, Hey, Tierra, what's up? And I'm like, Oh, Hey, what's up? How you doing? And they're like, yeah, you liked and commented on my picture on uh, Instagram. And I'm like, Oh, but like, it's not like, it's just organic, you know, like yeah. I might've just came across a kid that paints and like, 
whatever he painted was like cool to me and I liked it maybe I reposted it and it's just like but I might not remember because I'm always browsing and looking mm-hmm. up just like cool stuff you know so like I said I think it's just important that we um just continue to push the love around yeah and all that stuff costs zero dollars free yes it costs zero dollars <laughs> right so that's what I'm saying so like when I'm doing that they're like on the other side they're like dear like you don't realize like you, you I got clients or I got this or pe- this person hit me up after you posted and it's like I'm not even like, that's great, but like, I'm just doing it because I love what you did. Like, I don't, whatever you, whatever blessing, blessings you receive after I post you or like it or comment, whatever, that's great for you. But it's, I'm not, I'm not trying to like get anything out of it, you know? And like, but I, of course I prefer, you know, a good outcome, but it's just like, (laughs) I'm always browsing. Like I'll be up like four o'clock in the morning, just looking for like this cool stuff, you know? Yeah. Just, you know, stay inspired. All right. Stay inspired and staying busy. yeah, and you know, we like to like, you know how we are. We like to be up on stuff first. We'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, I seen it. I knew, you know, like it's just cool to just watch somebody, <laughs> you know, start from the, you know, the bottom and then you gradually see them go up. Like that's just a, that's just a cool thing to like see, you know, experience. For sure. And you know, uh, us at JD Sports and Finish Line, we love what you're doing. You know, I love you and what you do. I already know uh, it's love right here. Yeah, I already know. <laughs> yes. So we want to make a donation to two centers and the Philadelphia area, since you know that's where you're from, to help mm-hmm. support those communities. So yes, um, we'll hand it out on the back end since you know, yeah. I was gonna say I got so many. I was just like, you know, I'm just I'm still trying to figure it out. So don't put me on the spot because I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah, it out. Nothing on spot. yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, still all right. Yeah. Out, but you know, donations there. Once you yes. figure out which ones you want to go, you want it to go to. Yes. And yeah, you know, I appreciate. And see, that, that time I was gonna, I was gonna say, like, you see that, like, that was the main thing. Like, of course, I was like it's for you. So I'm like, yeah, like, oh, that's my guy. Like, but I'm like, all right, what are we doing? And then when you told me about the nonprofits, I'm like, oh, that's, that's like fire. Like it's, yeah. it's a wrap, you know? So it really tied it in. So I really appreciate it. Yeah. And that's the goal of community voices to help, you know, elevate voices within the community and yes. you know, help support them as well. So each episode we do a donation based yes. on, you know, whoever I'm interviewing where they want. That's to thorough. That's thorough. Oh, that's yeah. thorough. In Philly, we say that's thorough. I like that. Thorough, you know, <laughs> that's thorough. About that's thorough. About it, so. <laughs> yeah. That's fire. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. I mean, that's all I got for you. I, I mean, I'll let Thank you, you so post much. it out. Um, Thank you. And yeah, whatever else you want to be working on, if you want to let the people know. Um, um just know I'm, I'm where I'm where I'm supposed to be Dang. right now. You know, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. So exactly. yeah. You're in the studio, so, so you yeah. know some some heat is about to come out. So. Yes, it's hot in here. We gotta turn the air up. It's hot. <laughs> got the heat coming. <laughs> Yeah. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you so much. Love you more. Thank you. See you later. See ya.